Okay. Now, the box office this weekend wasn't too impressive, but the one note for now is the Chinese box office. The Chinese box office has been booming, really booming for the past few months. In fact, as I think this will be the first time in history that nine movies out of ten highest grossing film of the year will be from China. Like, literally. 2020, nine films out of ten are Asian films, pretty much from China. She does if you check the top ten, which is in this that was really crazy. I think ten I, I have to fact check this, but it's really crazy. I is it a nine or, or two, but I know there are a lot uh of movies from China in the top ten, which is crazy. So what's going on right now? What's what's happening now is that the box office is very much in favor for the Chinese uh, movies. Like Little Red Flower uh, made, I think he debuted with with $160 million this weekend, which is crazy. That is a record. Uh, it is really a record uh, for, for, I think, a New Year release. So it's, um, it's really doing well. Like, it's really doing well. Uh, the Middle Kingdom has just taken the, the lead as uh, the best box office territory on the planet as it is. The, the only caveat is that Hollywood films are no longer doing so well in that region. Now, let's come back to the main topic of the day, and that is Wonder Woman flopping continues to flop uh, uh people want to spin this as oh it is a pandemic it's doing well it's doing what it can it's holding look guys it's not holding anything it barely has crossed a hundred million dollars right now and not only that it is pretty much going to uh, from the estimates that uh, analysts have already predicted for it this film is not even going to make over 180 million dollars total Wrap your head around a sequel to a big uh, movie like the first Wonder Woman that made almost $850 million at the box office. This can even crack $200 million when it's all said and done. That's just to show you how crappy this movie was, that people are not even telling other people to go watch it. Now, a lot of people would come now and complain, give excuses that, oh, oh, you, you don't see the pandemic. And I, look, guys, Tenant came out in the heat of the pandemic a few months ago and still managed to make $360 million. This is Tenant. And look, that I know people may still come back and say, oh, they released it with PVOD. Okay, I get it. Everybody would want to make excuses after excuses after excuses the truth of the matter here is this film is not doing well this film dropped 67 percent in its second weekend it has uh, made only 25.7 million dollars in china which is not which is not very very good uh sorry uh Sorry, that, 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 that's uh, that's for so. It's uh, I have to confirm, but I think the the Chinese box office for Wonder Woman is really poor. Let me get the let me get the exact number for Wonder Woman. Yeah, so Wonder Woman, what it did overseas was ten point one million dollars this weekend. Uh, the global run overseas right now is 90 million and total of it has made is is around 118.5 million now i think uh, 25 million exactly came from china and the reason why this film has really pretty much died off in china even though it's just a new release in china is because the word of mouth for this film is poor in china People really don't care about this film. I think they just saw it the first week and they just gave up on the film. Uh, the, the, it's a different story for Soul because if you notice, Soul came out. I think Soul made only seven point nine million last week when it came out, and currently Soul has already made uh, twenty twenty five point seven million, like 
like it was reported above and this is from a single territory uh let's even go up again uh let's see what so uh is doing uh over overall uh crudes has made 7.6 million from its overseas market for a total of 80 point uh, 80.4 million overseas and uh 115 million dollars uh worldwide and this same film has your pvod running right now so i've watched uh the crudes new age it's not a bad film i think i gave it a six out of ten it was decent not nothing really special but i actually like the film it's a decent animated flick um this at least is doing well even considering the fact that it's already out on pvod so anybody making an excuse for wonder woman should take a look at the crudes too it is still doing very well at the box office now when you compare it to a chinese release like a little red flower there is no comparison in even in in that regard because this just made an estimate of 160 million dollars in its first weekend which is incredibly large uh the, the other one that made a lot of money is warm hog from china that made 80 million this week uh shockwave 2 i think is in its second weekend has made 126 million uh so it's china is doing well honestly china is really really doing well um media outlets that are trying to spin wonder woman's uh, run right now in some countries as a win but it is it is not winning it really is not winning uh yes like australia i think it's doing well in australia it has made um 11 million 11.5 million in australia it's doing well in a few but minute countries like i know there's even saying there that is making more money in those countries than the, the previous first one than the, than the previous first one but for now uh i think it's uh it is what it is then as for another film doing very well in japan is demon slayer which uh i think currently has made 337 million worldwide it's pretty much the highest grossing film in japan of all time and it's still doing very well honestly guys wonder woman is pretty much the main topic that i have right now and it's just the fact that this film has really flopped and it has to do with the quality uh, i know i get it everyone f feels that we are picking on this movie too much it's too much we are trying to cancel it and all that we're not trying to cancel it we're only trying to get better films out of our comics if these directors that claim they know what they're doing keep making shitty shitty movies like wonder woman 1984 it will kill us fans that have joy for these comic uh adaptations it's gonna make us not want to go see them not to support them on a normal day wonder woman a sequel to the original wonder woman that is well made will not even be competing with tenant even with the pandemic it should not and look people would say oh tenant wasn't affected too much by the release on his real mask you guys have need to understand this wonder woman had a december release to build off on Tenant didn't have a December release, and I personally even dislike Tenant as a movie. I really hate that movie, so I'm not even shilling for that movie to be honest. So, I think that boils down to the quality of the movie. If your movie is not that quality, people will not uh, repeat the viewing. People will not um, repeat viewing for your movie. But really, it is what it is as of right now. Um, Wonder Woman is not doing very well. Spin it as you want to spin it. It's just the truth. Will it pick up over time in the next few weeks? I really don't think so. This film is dropping faster than uh, faster than anything I can think of. Now, honestly, this film, I don't think it will go far, far than what it has gone right now at the box office. But I hope to be proven wrong and uh, we shall see what eventually happens. 
make sure you guys subscribe to our channel do follow us on social media like our content i'll see you guys next pretty much next time